Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to record a script in JMeter. So here in this video we will see only the recording script of uh, web application. So first open the video gen and uh, create a script. So I create a script uh, after in selecting a protocol I select the web HTML protocol. Next uh, JPEGSTO. I will give the script name as a JPEG store recording. Just create the uh, script. Then we will add the creating script. We have called a script into the editor. Now go to the recording. Click on record option. So after clicking, just if you want to click record in it, you know, can go for in it. So the basic uh, testing will be that uh, the action is the main part of the testing. So I will select the action method. So if you see there are three action three files you will use the remit action in the end so i have created an action here so if you want you can create multiple c files multiple action files so i will show you how to create that in the file uh, i want to record it a web browser so i'll select it otherwise you can select it in this application or remote application via your load and proxy as per the requirement so it's a direct strike forward so i'm just selecting a web browser and i want a chrome browser if you want any other browser so you can use any other browser so the browser has to be installed in a local otherwise it won't support the recording and this is the url what i want to record so yeah so now click start recording so click start recording and click started recording so it will open a chrome browser now with the uh, uh, jpeg store url which i have given we got recorded two events here you can see here so we get uh, two uh, 20 events so it's still recording uh, okay now we are getting the home page recording will be a bit slow when compared to you are normally accessing the application it will be different from recording in your low timer because it's not a proxy, it will be very slow. So be patient. So after learning the page, you are here I'll say tell you the few options which you can use. Where if you click on the circle icon, you can you can add the transaction. So I'm doing a transaction as clicking click on sign. I have given a transaction and click on sign it. So next you are going to click on sign it. So that's the reason why I have given. So if you want, you can end the transaction after the page uh, you pay or the page are loaded. Then if you want to add any comments, you can add the comments here as well. So So I have given comment as a clicking on clicking on sign in link. So click OK. Now I'm going to click on sign in link. Yeah. Now it was page loaded. So I'm stopping the transaction. Insert in transaction. Sign in. Yeah, it was done. Now now I have added the transaction and login into application. Okay, login into application. The transaction is started with login. Username is user1, password is pass. Password is pass. Now I'm clicking login. It's logged in. So I'm stopping the transaction in the transaction. Uh, login into application in the transaction. Yeah, next, uh, after recording, we have recorded two steps login, uh, home page, click in sign in, login to the application. Now we'll do logout. So logout of application. Start with the transaction. So click on sign out. So that's our sign out and stop in a transaction. Now click on the this stop recording option, then it will uh, start the it will generate the script. In meanwhile, when you're recording a script, if you want to stop for recording, then you can use this pass recording option, so which will stop recording your traffic. Uh, if you click on this thing, it will cancel the recording. You can go to the previous screen where uh, before what you see in the recording screen for recording screen. 
so now we'll stop in the uh, script got in script so we, we are, i feel I, I have done so i have did launch in the page uh, click on sign in log into the application and log out so i've stopped it now region will generate a script generating a script generating a script yeah it's generating a script so let's hold for a minute uh yeah see now it will show you all the information like how many urls we have how many requests from the octopus how many requests from the google google.com and other uh, ip and uh, the details of the recording in the action you will have the script so whatever you have recorded till now the details you could validate you will have 23 requests from the octopus you will have 23 recordings from the octopus of 23 recordings and uh, from google api you will have a uh, eight request from google.com you have two requests from 190 to 168 you will have one request okay so uh, if you see we have added the transactions as well now uh, where we have added we have added comments and the transaction as well so let's go to the transactions page click on sign in if you see any direct transaction in it click on sign in so you will have the click on sign in here it was started click on sign in comments and here it was started click on sign start transaction okay so here we have the transaction start under this transaction the google details also recorded so yeah google details also recorded so and next the actual request is here actual request is here and your transaction is ended here okay so again it started transaction login into the application so here we have given the username password and uh, uh, after that we have so click the sign in, sign out. This is a sign out again. Okay, uh, log off to the application. So take that the transaction for completion. Uh, while you enhance in the script, if you missed anything, I mean if you if you log, if you feel like you missed something and you want to re-record it, then no problem, only to re-record it again. Go to the record option and regenerate, click on regenerate script. So regenerate the script will just regenerate the script again. What it will generate while recording your script. Yeah, again we got the regenerated script. So it will press script. So let's take. I will delete the, this content. I will delete this content. I will delete this content. Now I saved it. Now from click on regenerate script again. So you will get. Uh, uh all the requests what we deleted so now the first request is catalog action now that will be on 15th or 20th line so it's generated again so this is how we can use the generate script option in load runner once you record you can use the same script for regenerating the uh, script multiple times thanks for listening this